guys it's a candy girl welcome to the channel if you haven't joined the candy and family please subscribe by clicking the back clicking the back of the bell and subscribe and join the candy and family it's free of course you're welcome to join on this narcissistic free journey and so tonight we're going to talk about um the narcissist method to use to overcome narcissistic abuse and so this channel is not not just for people who is striving because i am a proud survivor i was in victim mood survivor and i am a thriver i'm no longer in victim or survivor i'm a thriver thriving for greatness right and so yeah welcome to join the family it's free of us so anyway we're going to talk about method because some people is still stuck in narcissistic abuse with narcissistic partners and i say it can be family members spouse etc and so method to use to come out of narcissistic or toxic situationship with also ever it may be toxic it don't necessarily have to be a spouse it can be other people basically and so method to use to overcome narcissistic abuse I'm sharing what I basically use, you understand, from my platform is to bring the awareness and to, you know, reach out to people and show people that they don't have to stop with their abuse. And there is hope after coming out. If you are still in the situation, there is hope. You can leave. It's never too late. Note, it's never too late to leave, right? And method to use to overcome is vent, speak out. You know, a lot of time we make society, you know, I was thinking that, um, you know, don't speak out. You, you must speak out. But speak out. Speaking out is you are free to speak, basically. You understand me? You are free to express yourself. You are free to talk out whatsoever, you know, you went through. Because person don't, down the line, probably, you know, just need a word of encouragement or just need, you know, a little motivation to get them out of certain situation. And so... That is why I say, speak up. Use your voice. Speak out. You understand me? Don't look at what other people may think or what need validation from other people. Speak out and let your voice be heard. Too many times, um, children or females are stuck in abusive cycle and they keep silent because they feel as if, you know, that is the way it's supposed to be. No. Speak out. Speak your truth. Whosoever offended by it, it doesn't really matter. You are basically speaking out your truth. Speaking your truth is basically clearing out whatsoever toxic or brokenness inside of you. Because keeping these things and bottling these things up inside of you can be hazardous to your health, basically. It can be a hazard to your health. So speak out. It doesn't really matter how people see you. Because when I made my channel, I didn't really care what people may think of me. Whosoever is true they will know what i am talking and you know that is basically it but speak out let your truth be heard that is a part of healing and overcoming narcissistic abuse right or you call it vent right and so the other method is um don't keep as i said don't keep things inside of you speak out and if you can speak to if you have church members, people where you can basically, basically can find it, people where you can basically trust, because we have to also know who we are talking to, because a lot of people, you, you talk certain things with them and whatsoever, and then they let out whatsoever. So you have to know who you're basically speaking out to, or if you want to use your platform or something, speak out and bring these things to the forefront. Don't keep things inside of you because a lot of people remain continually to stuck in victim mode because they are not speaking out they are keeping in things right and then another one is plan your if you are still stuck with a narcissist plan your escape route because the narcissist is not going to basically let you escape you have a plan and know what you are about you have to know that you know i am in this thing the situation ship ears and ears and the situation is not changing this is adding more armor than it it added more good to me so i have to basically make the one be the one to make the change so plan your escape 
You understand me? Plan your escape. Don't keep stuck. Because I always say this, the longer you stay in the situation, is the more harder it's going to be for you. You delay your healing process. You delay your blessing. Because narcissist is just blessing blocker. And just stopping you from living in your truth. You're basically handing over your life to the narcissist whenever you stay with the narcissist. The minute you discard and exit the situation is the minute you begin to live for you. Is the minute you begin to is like a new rebirth and you you begin to feel new. Right? As I shana say, I feel like a new child. I'm feeling brand new. So me tell you why low me, low me, low no matter look so low me. Right. So you have to do what is best. For you. And the other one is, yes, yeah, I say, plan your escape route, come out of the situation, discard the narc. Basically, discard the narc, cutting off the narc and discarding them, going no contact. Because one thing with a the narcissist, they love to over so that, you know, they can have you trapped in the narcissistic abusive cycle. And so that is why I say the narcissist is not going to want for you know you flee you have to basically do it for yourself so you know discard the narc after you discard the narc also go no contact because no contact if you break the no contact method when you discard them is like you are going back in the same cycle you are reversing going backwards so the no contact um, uh, method is very necessarily when you go on a contact that means say you cut all ties with the narcissist you are showing the narcissist that I am not gonna be your doormat I am not gonna be your 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 little play toy I am not going to be the one who you have and manipulating and playing like a puppet on a string when you go no contact with the narcissist you basically take back your power from the narcissist and so this is one of the methods you have to use never go backwards move forward because you going backwards the situation shift is gonna get worse I was in the situation keep going going back over and over and over and it never ended it never ended well so the no contact is very necessary do not bury that method continue to stay no contact continue to work up on yourself this is method to use to overcome narcissistic abuse right and so if you have children with the narcissist because narcissists always use children to hold on to their supplier or marriage to hold on to their suppliers to keep them in that cycle because the narcissists know that once you have a child with them you know yeah, this is tides. I have tides to you. So, you know, if you believe in yourself and believe you can make it, leave with that, leave the, with your child and discard the narcissist. Don't let the narcissist let because you have child with them. You're stuck in that abusive cycle because I can tell you it's not going to end pretty. Move and do what is best for you. All right? The narc. Because the narc, I got not want you to leave. You basically have to do it. And the next thing is be honest with yourself and face the reality of who the narcissist is really is, who this narcissistic person is. Because the longer you stay in denial, the longer it's gonna keep you stuck. You have to come to reality and know, you know. This the person, this person is just evil. This person is just who they be, and I cannot change them, and I have to make the change. The only way a narcissist is going to respect you is when you discard them and walk out. Don't believe you're gonna stay with a narcissist and you're gonna get respect. You never will get respect. The only respect is to discard that narc and take back your the next one is relocate. If you're living with a narcissist, find yourself to relocate because same with a narcissist you can't heal in the same place where you are basically broken and being with a narcissist is brokenness you cannot stay in the same environment and say you want to heal being with a narcissist or living with a narcissist so you have to relocate you can't own cannot heal if you continually you know adding own to the own he own cannot heal if you continue you know adding traumas to that own keep on licking or hurting that wound it cannot heal it's not gonna heal so you have to relocate to heal you can't stay with a narcissist and feel as if you are going to heal no you're adding more traumas and depression to your life yes guys you are basically adding more traumas to your life so you have to relocate right and so don't stay because it's not going to help you so this is the method 
um, what you have to use and be honest to yourself. The narcissist is who they do. They are. They are not going to change their just who they are. You understand? It's time to take your to, it's time to take your power back. You understand? It's time to take your power back. So doing these things will basically take your power back. Because it don't make no sense you stay, it's not going to get better. And the, nar the narcissist is not going to do what's best for you. Who the, a narcissist show you who they are, they are basically is. So it's not going to get better, right? So you have to make the choices. You have to do, use the method to make yourself better and to receive better. You understand me? Yeah. And so, you know, as I say, face the situation, know that this is what it is. And it's never going to change if I continually stay with the narcissist. And just do what is best for you. So, face the situation, go now, contact, speak out. This person is who they are. They will never change. And you have to make the change. You understand? Find the, the strength and make the change. And these changes only begin with you if you want peace it's begin with you the narcissist not going to do it for you you basically have to do it for you i got love you guys 